back. Holy shit. <laughs> it has been uh, a while on YouTube that uh, I've done a vlogging style video like this. So uh, you guys are going to accompany me uh, along for a shooting day. Let's go. How do I flip this? Uh, welcome to my car park. I uh, just got to get in the other side. So today's going to be a fun day. There's a car interrupting my video. I don't know how I feel about that. You know what? Remind me not to vlog and put stuff in my car at the same time. I'm totally, you know, not struggling at all. You know what? I'm just gonna wait until I get into the car because this is clearly not practical. Yeah, don't don't vlog and try to get at the car at the same time. It's it's not the. Mo well, that was nice. Still keeps going again. Oh, okay. No, that's okay. It's not like I'm trying to vlog or anything. Come on, focus. Oh, you must have focus. Why are you not focusing right now? I suppose since I've taken you guys, uh, you know, behind the scenes. Uh, last time I did this was for uh, an amazing client of mine, Natasha Shah. Fun fact, today is actually her sister's engagement. So, so today you're going to join me behind the scenes uh, to watch how I capture Nikita Shah's engagement. Uh, there will be a few things happening today uh, in conjunction. So we've got obviously a, a few prep shots. Um, hopefully a few couple shots just before the main, you know, engagement begins. Uh, and then we've got obviously the engagement ceremony itself. Now, with current restrictions, hopefully there's a lot happening. I'm sure it's going to be an entertaining night. It's going to be really, really fun. But uh, you guys can join me along uh, and see exactly what I do to capture all the moments. Uh, and hopefully uh, we have a great time. Uh, if you do like this video, for my mum's sake, uh, for my neighbor's sake, for, you know, my future kid's sake, uh, just everyone's sake, just please like this video. Uh, comment down below, subscribe, do all of that amazing good shit and uh, yeah, it'll help out the channel quite a lot. Um, yeah, that'll that'll really help. I really want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the best content as possible with as much value for any photographer watching this, you're learning, uh, for any bride or groom who stumbled across this video who potentially uh, is inquiring about their wedding or wants to know about how, you know, things like this work then, uh, then yeah, like, you know, it's going to be a very informative video for you to watch. So, you know, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, uh, welcome behind my GoPro. So thanks for joining in. Um, right now we're doing the pre-shoot just before the main engagement. Nick and Lily are stunning under the Harbour Bridge. As you can tell, it is really bright. So I had to really crank that shutter to properly expose for them uh, whilst taking this photo. All photos are edited with my presets, which will be available soon. So stay tuned for that. And settings are listed down below. I want you to face Lolly, grab his forearm. Perfect, yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, so put this left hand on his chest. Left hand, left hand, left hand, good girl. And the other one on his forearm. Perfect, grab her waist, Lolly. Yeah, beautiful. Get close, squeeze it tight, that's it. And just, Nick, I want you to look down towards your shoulder for me, yeah? Other shoulder, other shoulder, good girl. And Lolly, look at Nick, yeah? Perfect, keep it right there. Get closer, 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 closer. Breathe, 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 in, 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 in. That's it, we want more, we want more. Keep it there. Stunning, keep it there on three, two, one. Three, two, one. Big smile, guys. Big smile. So one of the things that I really love doing is just shooting a little bit lower than eye level. I think it really emphasizes your couple, gives them great height. Uh, plus it also, well in this case for the background was just absolutely stunning. You got some really iconic shots with the Hubbard Bridge in the background and yeah, the subjects just in front. The clouds fortunately came in at a great time. So I was super happy with these images. Tava. That's okay, that's okay. Grab her waist from behind, grab her waist from behind. Nick, face me, perfect, good girl. Look towards your shoulder. That's it, yeah, beautiful. If your hair's flying, that's it, just for that one shot. Here we go, three, two, one. That's it, look at, look at Nick, look at Nick. That's it, stunning. Perfect, Lali, take one more step. Yeah, beautiful, look back towards her and bring her and get closer. You start walking, get closer. That's it. Well done. Yeah, stunning. Perfect. Yeah, you can walk, you can walk, you can walk. Nice, nice, good stuff. Yeah. 
Now the sun did come out, so I really wanted to take these guys uh, in shade uh, just to get some better shots. And fortunately, I have shot in this location before, and these archways are absolutely my favorite. Uh, I was able to do the kindergarten poses to start off. And again, as you can see, I'm crouching down just to get below eye level. A great tip for any photographer trying to capture their couples. It's just always fun to give them a bit more height uh, and to just be low whatever their eye levels generally are. So one of my mentors uh, who I learned photography from told me that once you've identified a great location with great lighting, stick to it. Don't, don't you know, complicate it. Keep your subjects uh, situated within that area. So that way you can get the most out of a complete location. Exploit it as much as you possibly can. Mix it up, get different poses, different positions. Get your couple to interact, have a fun time. Uh, that way you're gonna maximize the most of a pre-shoot because at this point in time, we only had less than half an hour uh, just before the engagement began. Side, left or right? You can go that side? Alright, perfect. So stay there. Lali, I want you here. Yeah, it makes sense. I want you here, just getting close, yeah? Alright, awesome. Okay, so right here, you're gonna see exactly what I mean by how to keep the location the same, but just switch it up a little bit. So uh, in a second, what I'm about to do is I'm gonna get really close to Nick and Lali. I'm just gonna adjust them ever so slightly against that wall and position their heads in a way which can bring out a perhaps a more flattering shot. Now, again, your role as a photographer isn't there to completely dictate or instruct or to control. Yes, they are looking for your guidance. However, the rest of it comes on them. I do try and get them to interact, uh, you know, have a bit of a cute smile sometimes, or maybe just get them to talk or, or I might crack a joke that might be funny enough for them to have an organic reaction. These are the things which do matter. Um, but what you're about to see right now is I'm going to get a little bit lower, shoot a little bit higher and focus on this archway and we get some really stunning images again within the exact same locations but just mixing it up ever so slightly. All right, play around with your nose, nose dance kids, nose dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always normal, it's always normal. <laughs> So one of the things based on my photography style that I've identified which I really enjoy and perhaps my couples also do is I love to fill my frame with negative space. So this is the space above the subject that often sometimes is called dead space. Now again it's completely subjective but for me it serves the purpose of emphasizing the background or in this case the structure in which Lali and Nick were standing just beneath of. Now you don't have to, some people have a zoomed up shot of couples like that but I just feel it's sometimes appropriate given the area or environment that you're working in. Just keep that. Just I want you guys to look towards the uh, towards the bridge, so you can stop kissing the cheek. <laughs> look that way. Look that way. Yep, perfect. Heads heads together. Heads together. That's it. Perfect. Yeah, keep it there. Stunning. So you just look down towards your shoulder. Yeah, yeah, but not too far back. So keep pivoting that way. That's it. And get close towards Lali. And like, and like, yeah, almost, almost. But look, come out this way, and then look at him. But actually, you know what? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. even better. Stay there. Stunning. Stay right there. Pivot in towards a little bit more. So push in, push in. Yep. Keep going in towards the archway. That's it. Yep. And look at me, Nick. That's it. Big smile. Head pop out a tiny bit more. Good girl. That's it. Big smile, Lolly. Let's go, man. You're getting engaged. Don't be nervous. You're kind of trapped for life, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Stunning. All right guys, so we're moving into the venue and we are shooting at Dalton in Hyde Park. Uh, now the venue is absolutely stunning. You just can't see at the moment uh, the environment that I'm working with, which I will pan around later on in the video. Uh, one of the things that I wanna point out in this venue particular that was a bit challenging for me uh, was the fact that it was a black ceiling. Now, as stunning as that looks, and I totally understand the aesthetics of the room, what that does is it absorbs my light. So when I'm trying to bounce back my flash towards a subject, I'm not gonna be able to properly Exposed, especially in the nighttime. So what I'm doing right now is using the natural daylight to focus on all of the decor, get all of the detail shots done as soon as possible so that come the nighttime, I don't have to worry about getting any properly exposed images. 
Okay, so when it comes to flash photography, one of the things that I'll be using tonight is just a speed light flash that's going to be sitting on either my Canon 5D Mark IV or my Canon R6, which are my two main photography uh, body cameras. In addition to those two things, I am also using a Godox 8200 that I'll be using to hopefully expose or just boost back a bit more flash power within the venue. And I'm a bit worried given the fact that as the light goes down, natural light diminishes, we'll have only artificial light, hence why it'll be very important to shoot with with as much ambient neutral light as possible. And given it is a dull venue, it's important to have adequate flash power to make sure that you're properly exposing for your subjects, no matter what environment that you're currently working in. And these are just a few basic shots that I did during decor, just to make sure that you get the chandeliers, the tables, um, you know, the cutlery, stuff like that, so that people can reflect back and appreciate the entire atmosphere or environment for the day. It's also really important if you have time at your venue and your subjects uh, are idle or you're not really delved into you know, family photos just yet, try and pull them aside uh, and take them to a spot in the venue just to get some clean, clear shots. Now in this case, I really, really loved this natural window light shot and we had you know those cushiony golden background architectural structures in the back as you can see there and all i was getting nikita shah to do was just to turn around to to you know look left and right to be ever so subtle with how she's positioning herself um, again taking as much as i possibly can with this entire structure to get those great key shots and those key moments just so that she can look back and have a few solo portraits of her own At some point, as you can see, I got Lali involved and now I'm using the structures to my advantage uh, to cover a bit of foreground, um, you know, in the front and in the back to just create that shallow depth so you can emphasize and really pop out your subjects in between the light. Yeah, yeah, and just look out, look out there for me and look at her, look at her, look at her. Perfect, that's it, stop, stay there. Whew. These are good, these are good. Get close, get close, that's it. That's it, perfect. Feet closer, feet closer. That's it. Stunning. And keep it there. Sometimes it's also really great to use decor and capture your subjects. Now, I love creating depth from, you know, the seats, from the chairs right in front of me in conjunction with the natural window light, the dark room. We got a really great ambient environment, atmospheric shot, and I was super happy with the images that you're about to see. So now I'm just taking you around on my GoPro just to show you the venue that I was clearly operating in. As you can see, you can clearly see the black ceiling. Uh, now, fortunately, we have the natural window light at the moment, but all of these shots that you're about to see were taken with flash. All right, now it's time for the official formality, the introduction of the couple themselves. Now, I was playing around with my flash settings. As you can see, towards the left-hand side, there is an 8200 facing that white wall there. Uh, now, I did turn it off only because it would be too bright as they came in, so I kept it purely natural with the ambient light that was presented with me at the time. So as soon as you know a couple is doing a first dance, there's dry ice and there's fireworks in the floor, a chorus is about to hit which means you can almost guarantee yourself a lift or a specific stunning wow shot of any sort. And there you go. So in this case, take as much as you possibly can, properly expose and try and get all of those wow shots as soon as possible.
when it comes to rituals, uh, I guess the best you could possibly do is just be as fast and quick as possible to get a couple of creative plus safe shots, uh, just documenting the entire journey. So in this case, they were doing a small proceeding ceremony uh, just to officially announce the engagement of the couple. Um, and in this case, Nick's mum was leading that ritual. So if you've been on my channel before then you know the classic uh, looking at each other and everyone just smiling and talking is always a fun shot to do which you'll see right now and it's just a great way to get an organic I suppose candid natural group shot and it's just fun to look back on. So during speeches, uh, I was basically using no flash because we had a fair bit of ambient uh, light uh, from the chandelier above and I was just shooting on my primes almost pretty much wide open. Uh, now this let in a lot of light in my camera and I was able to get some decent enough shots without, you know, despite that black ceiling conundrum. The biggest thing that you also want to make sure when you're doing uh, speeches is to get those clear shots of people laughing, smiling, uh, or just shots showcasing who it is that was actually speaking. Try and move around as much as you possibly can, getting different angles, different looks uh, from different lenses as well, um, as also just to get different perspectives on the day. Following straight after the speeches, we actually had a singing performance. Again, the exact same methodology applies. You want to pretty much keep moving. In this case, what you're seeing here is me just trying to shoot creatively between structures or you know through structures or I guess to the side or left of them. So hence why I'm using the flowers just to get some perspective shots. No matter what you try and keep doing, always bear in mind the fact that you have to get your safe shots, which would be just wides documenting the entire event from a journalistic perspective. But then when you can, try and get your creative images such as these ones as well. That way at least you can hand over variety to your couple with the online gallery. Dance floor shots are actually really fun to capture if you can get the right moment at the right time. At this point in time, again being a solo shooter, I am trying to get my wides first just to document everything and then when ready try and get my creative tighter zoomed up shots. To produce both takes a bit of skill and you do have to constantly keep moving going back and forth between two camera bodies, making sure you have a variety of images and not almost every single time when you shoot you're going to get a shot on focus or people even smiling sometimes you get those weird awkward, you know like weird facey ones that you see of people like bleh. I really don't know how to explain it, but sometimes you do get really flattering images like these ones here that you're seeing, so it works out almost always. Okay, so by the end of it, just came down to speeches and the cake cutting ceremony and afterwards we had an open dance floor. At this point in time, it was again the exact same deal, getting a combination of safe and creative images so that you can document the entire night, but still get your quirky shots that you can provide a whole bunch of range of different images and photographs to a couple by the end of the entire online gallery. That was it guys. Uh... That was Nick and Lali's engagement. Uh, if you guys really enjoyed that video and thought it was quite informative, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I do hope to take you guys behind the scenes hopefully every weekend or every second weekend, whenever I'm basically shooting, and um, basically document the entire journey. So 
this is what it's pretty much like. Uh, so you guys see, you know, weddings, engagements, uh, even pre-wedding uh, events for South Asian weddings. So stay tuned for that. But that's basically it. So if you guys like the video, again, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.